my bob please hi my angels and welcome back to my channel today i never thought i'd be filming this video actually i did think i'd film this video but i just didn't know when i know this is a really old tag and it is my dog slash puppy picks my makeup. I used to watch these when it was like a thing. I used to be really sad because I was like, I want a puppy to pick my makeup, but guess what? We have two back here. Yes, we do. Oh, basically, this guy is going to pick my makeup. There is a bunch of like literally everything from primer all the way down to lipstick. And he is going to pick my makeup for me today. Yes, you are. Do you want to? Pick my makeup for me. Okay then, okay then. Right, so shall we begin this video? So I've got Damini sitting in the corner and she's gonna help me film the Tupac picking the actual makeup. And hopefully he picks a really nice makeup look. I mean, there's like random colors of like eyeliners and everything going on. So hopefully this look turns out decent and I'm gonna let him go now so he can start. Oh, oh he's sleepy. He literally just woke up from a nap. So hopefully he's not too sleepy to help me pick my makeup. Oh. Off you go, mate. Ready? Okay. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Tupac, come here. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Ready? Go! Oh! For moisturiser, Tupac has picked the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturiser. Give this guy a go. So this has got like a weird, like purpley iridescent tone to it, but let's just get this onto my face. And it, I swear it smells like lavender too. Oh, don't lick this! <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I've tried this moisturiser on the back of my hand, but not on my face. And it does have a like nice kind of glow to the face from it. I feel like it's like in between a balm and a moisturiser. Okay. Moisturizer, all done! Stay. Come, pick one. Oh, you bougie boy! The primer he's picked is the Tarcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I've got the like pot version of it and I really like that. So let's see what this is. I feel like I might need to shake it. Aha. Uh -huh. I feel like one pump should be enough. Oh. Hmm. That's really nice actually. Thanks, tubes! I like this primer, wow. This actually feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like a silicone-y primer. It actually feels like a really nice, like, hydrating but, like, smoothing primer. Two-pack, it's time to pick. No, it's oh. time to pick the foundation. Go find how many coins. No, we're gonna come here. Good boy. Wait. Good boy, wait. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He has picked the Uoma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So I got this from Cult Beauty and I'm using the shade Honey... Honey Honey. I had no idea how I was going to pick my shade and I actually went on this website called Find Nation. Foundation? I'm going to leave a link to it below. And this is the foundation that it's told me will be my match. So let's try it out together. Ooh. This is very... Very watery, guys. Look at it. Look, it's very watery. I feel like it's supposed to be like that. Oh, this is very weightless. When it says weightless, it definitely means it. I feel like that's a pretty decent match as well. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a proper shake, just in case if it's not supposed to be that watery. Definitely supposed to be very watery. <laughs> He's like trying to get through to the highlighter that I'm holding. No. He hates it when I say that. He's like, what? <laughs> this is a really nice foundation. Picking such good things for mommy today. Oh, actually it's a little bit thicker now. I feel like that's a really nice match as well. I really like this foundation. Like really, really like it. Boy, good boy. Day. All right. Time for concealer. Let me say, say yeah. Because he went to this one. Yeah, there. definitely went for the Makeup Revolution concealer. I remember the first time I tried it, I actually gave it away because I didn't like the way it like sat on my skin. Let's see what I think about it this time around. I can actually open it. This is the Conceal and Hydrate concealer from 
Makeup Revolution, and I've got the shade C.57. I'm going to get this on to the usual areas. This feels quite lightweight on the skin, it doesn't feel too thick. I thought for some weird reason this would be very, very thick. This is the real test when you blend it all out. How about we get rid of all this stuff so you do not eat my makeup and skincare, thanks for having Oh, that's actually not that... That's quite nice, I quite like that. So far, I feel like the base is looking pretty good. We got setting powder next. Time to do your job. Come on, come on, good boy. Wait up, good boy. Stay, stay. Pick one up. He's picked none other than the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this setting powder. And if you guys have watched any of my recent videos, then you'll know that I've been quite liking the new way of doing my powder with my beauty blender. So I get it onto my beauty blender and then press it into the sponge. And then I go in and set the under eyes. And it just slightly mattifies everything. It doesn't look too, like, baked. Having some more on my sponge pressing it into the sponge on my hand, setting away. Yeah, make sure I don't forget my chin and forehead. Now it's time for bronzer. Wait. Go on then, pick it up. Oh, he picked a body shop bronzer. I haven't picked this one up in a hot minute. Let's get this guy on. I feel like Tupac knows a thing or two about good makeup. Oof. He's growling at himself. Oh, that's two pack in there. <laughs> okay, I'll do a quick little nose hug. On to blush. Good boy. Go on, pick it up. Oh, thank you, two pack. That's a really good cream blush. Yes, it is. Oh, there you go. Duvecca's picked this Fenty Cream blush. It is in the shade Petal Popping, which is one of my favourite shades. I feel like it's been one of my go-tos for summer this year. So I'm just going to get this guy right onto the apples of my cheeks. Do you want some blush? There you go. We're flying through this troopy, troopy, poopy whoops. You know the drill, yes, oh, you do. Good boy, TP. Sit. Good boy, two pack stay. Stay. Okay, pick it up. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay, okay. He has picked the Becca Zero No Pigment Glass Highlighter. I tried this on with no makeup the other day and I loved the way it looked. I'm going to actually get it onto my finger first and then get it onto the high points of my cheeks. It creates you your own custom highlight shade I find that suits your skin that's really nice and you can totally put like powder highlight <laughs> this is not for you this is actually the first time that I'm putting this on with like matte makeup on like underneath and it's actually really beautiful add a little bit onto the bridge of my nose overall I feel like that's really beautiful good job tubely boobs I have just primed my eyelids. I've used the same concealer as I used for my base. And now it's time to pick an eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Go on then. Go pick it. Stay. Come on. Pick it up. Oh. Good boy. He's picked the Black Magic palette. Very like greeny tones. I don't really know what kind of vibe I want to go from. Let's go for like yellow. I'm going to take Romantic, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to get that onto the crease and really buff and blend that out. I'm going to add a little bit of this shade Love into the crease as well, just to deepen that up. And I'm also going to add a little bit to the outer third as well. These honestly blend like such a dream. Time for some yellow. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Osun. And I'm going to get that onto... My eyes. To be fair, I could have done like a whole yellow look. We're gonna make something work here. I'm gonna add this onto the whole of my eyelid. I'm gonna push that same colour into the crease as well. And then on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna work that into the crease. It's gonna give it like a bit of a brownie effect because I've already 
I've already got that pinky shade in there, so this is hopefully going to make a nice brown transition. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkles. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Enchantress. I'm going to add that to the inner corners of my eyes. I don't think I've worn yellow on my eyelids for a very, very long time. I'm just going to take my bronzer shade and I'm going to add that to my lower lashes. And then I suppose we can move on to mascara. Eyeliner. No, we have eyeliner. We're going to move on to eyeliner. Way. Oh. Okay. Got it. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to do a bright eyeliner. Good boy. I wanted him to pick this so badly. <laughs> pick a color. Oh, I can't tell. Which one did he go for? I think he went for the orange. So he picked this eyeliner stack from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which has three different colors on it. And we think he went for the orange because we did a bit of an action replay. Ooh, okay, I thought this was a powder, but it's actually a full on like cream vibe. I wonder whether you have to use this with water. Apparently you're supposed to spray the brush, so let's just do that really quickly. This is a little bit better. Oh yeah, here we go. This is much better. Don't know why I'm doing this in such a small mirror. Okay, I feel like I'm going to leave it like this. Um, let's do mascara. Come on, pick it up! Yay! Okay, so Tupac has picked the new Charlotte Tilbury mascara, which I've heard such amazing things about. So we're going to try this guy out. It's called the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. This is the first time I'm using it, and apparently it's supposed to give like a 24-hour curl to your lashes. I, for one, love that it is a plastic wand. I do love a good plastic wand. Hey, sit. I really like the way this eye has turned out. I've realised that there's actually a flat part of the mascara wand and then like a thin part. And I think I was applying mascara on this eye with the flat part, which was not what I needed to do. And that is the eyelashes all done. I'm gonna wait for them to dry before I put my lashes on. But now it is time for the brows. Go on, then, pick one up. Oh, you picked a Fenty. We've not tried this one before. So this is the Fenty Brow MVP. It's got like this cute little brush bit on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing my brows. The shade that I'm using this in is called Medium Brown. Oh, this is a really nice tone. It's more on the waxier end than like super duper pigmented, which is actually really good because it means that you're less likely to go OTT on your brows. But this is almost like an exact match of my eyebrow shade. I have just done my other eyebrow off camera and I've popped a really light pair of lashes on. These are from Backstage Beauty. They are the Chelsea lashes and they're very, very natural. I didn't want anything too crazy because I didn't know what uh, this look would turn out to be, but I feel like these work. This was the only thing that I picked myself, but um, I feel like the eye look actually looks kind of, kind of all right. Yeah, you've got one more thing to pick, so you want to go pick it? Come on now. Come on, Tippy! He just loves the fuss. He's like, yeah, give me yeah, all the fuss. Okay, ready? Wait. Go ahead, pick one up! Pick one up! Go on. Well, he looked at the live tinted first. I feel like he's getting a bit tired now. <laughs> we'll go for the live tinted too, but we'll get okay, come on then. Tupac picked a uh, live tinted hue stick. This is the orange shade, which I believe is perk. I will leave the official name of it in the description box below. I feel like this is going to be quite a coherent, nice look because you've got like warm orangey yellow tones on the eyes and this beautiful orange lip. I always get so many compliments whenever I wear this. It's one of my favourite shades. That, you guys, oh wait, this is the final makeup look that Tupac has picked for me, my little pup. I mean, I feel like we're complimenting now. I purposely wore a brown top to match my little brown fluffy two-pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a fun makeup tutorial. Are you tired? Oh. Two-pack, do you wanna go sleepy time? I really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys did too. I'm gonna leave all the products that I've used linked in the description box. And hopefully 
we shall see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>